28th of January 2020 and it happens to be my birthday. And this is the day that we have set aside for Bring Back Joji, the march, the walk to the office of the president. And so this is our meeting point in Madaraka. Uh, so the purpose of this walk is just to try and seek audience, seek an audience with the president um, so that we can have uh, a conversation one-on-one -on -one with, with the president. And so this was um, for Joji's friends and Masha's friends from Rungai, and then family and friends. My name is Washeke, I'm a friend of uh, Wanjiko and uh, her brother Joji. The reason why we are here, we want to seek an audience with the president because we want him to help us to bring Joji back home. Joji was abducted in Somalia in 2014, it's been now six years and uh, it's about time that he came back home, you know, we cannot go there in Somalia ourselves, as you know, it's war torn and everything, so we need his help. That's why we are here. Please, Mr. President, bring Georgie back home. Hi, everyone. So we're here at the office of the President, talking about this journey which we have just begun, bring back Georgie. We have Fikomboro, friends, family, waiting to hear who's going to talk to us from the office of the President. So it's been about like 10 minutes since we've been been here and um, we'll keep you updated as we go along so remember bring our judges back home viva my appeal to the government and by the government i mean the president is that uh, would you please sit with us as a family my mom and my dad uh, and then put the employer to task because he's the only one who can do that and so that you know we can release the money and my brother and I can come back. That's just my appeal because uh, from now we are on, leave it to God as we have done. Yeah, yeah. Kwa majina naitwa Elizabeth Machalia, mimi ni bibi ya George Machalia wenye wali walienda huko kikazi Somalia waka kidnapiwa huko. So tuko hapa kwa ofisi ya president, tukiomba usaidizi wa president, president wetu, ili tusaidie 
wazee waze wetu wa kute mimi ni mama wa watoto wawili wasichana ningependa sana mzee wangu arudi watoto huwa wanisugua wananiuliza maswali kwani mam baba yangu alienda wapi mam baba atakuja rini so wako na uzuni sana hi my name is grace wangoi kimani i am a sister to George Masharian Joki. George Masharian Joki is my brother alongside my cousin, George Masharian Boru. Today I'm here to seek audience with the president of Kenya, my president that I elected to be my president. And by the way, I love my president because I know he hears and he will act. So I am here today to seek audience and to highlight my plea because my brother and cousin were on a job trip in Mogadishu 2014 and they were abducted. It had been uh, six years of waiting, pain, agony as a family. We've really tried all we could, we've prayed, we've lost hope, we've gained hope, you know. But all in all, we have said we will not keep quiet anymore. We will come here alongside our friends and family just to talk to the president and just to tell him how we feel. It's been a whole six years of waiting. Imagine my brother's kids. He left two children and one of them does not even know the father. And you can imagine the questions that he asks the mom every single day. Mommy, who is my daddy? Where did my daddy go to? How come other kids in school have their fathers? Where is my father? And it has been really emotional for all of us and especially for the mother trying to explain this to the kids. It's not an easy thing. So this day we are here just to highlight our plea and to request in humble in a humble way to our president, Tafadhali, kama kuna vile uneza tusaidia, kama familia. I think tumefika mwisho now and that is why we are here today. Please, if there is a way that you can help us, if there is a way that the government can intervene in this whole issue, we shall appreciate and we shall be thankful. We really hope that our brothers are alive, wherever they are. We hope that they are well, and we are trusting God that one day, just one day, and hopefully soon, our brothers will come back home. Now, kitu saidia tutashukuru tu sana, tutashukuru tu sana. Thank you. Kwa majina, mina ito Peter Kaigora, ndugu yake mkubwa, George Masharia, Njoki, na kazi yangu George Masharia, ambao wako Somalia, leo kukua na leo kulikuwa na work ambayo ilikuwa inatelekeza kwa president kumulilia angaa atuweze kutusaidia huu ni mwaka wa sita ambao vijana wetu waliweza kupotea na sasa tunamuomba tu aweze kutuhurumia na aweze kutusaidia jinsi ambavyo tunaweza jua ama tufahamishwe vile au ndugu zetu wanaendelea kwa nchi ya Somalia ombi langu ni kama ingewezekana aweze kutusaidia waweze kurejea ili tuweze kuendelea maisha pamoja tumekuwa na huzuni mkubwa kwa sababu ya hao ndugu zetu ambao wamepotea ombi langu kwa president na wakati vijana wetu wanatafutwa kazi na wakubwa waweze kuwa na ulinzi wapewe ulinzi wanapomaliza kazi yao eh, wanarudishwa mahali ambapo wametolewa kwa sababu naona hao ndugu zangu hawakuenda tu hivi hivi walipitia njia ambazo zinastahili lakini hatimaye tunasikia kwamba wamepotea katika hiyo shughuli yao ya kazi na ni jambo la kuhuzunisha. Naomba tu atusaidie jinsi ambavyo tunaweza kujelewa na hao ndugu zetu. Asante sana. Jina ni Joseph Mbogo. Brother ya George Mashalia. Kazi ni ya George. Na mimi tumekuwa tumekuwa kwa shughuli za work leo juu ya kuomba serikali ile ile za kuishi ile za kusaidia kurudisha kurudisha au hiyo kwa kazi yao na ile kitu ni miaomba na serikali ichukue ya kwamba wakati wa vijana wako katika nchi yetu naona kwa hasara upande wa bibi watoto na hata familia tena hata kwa nchi yetu kwa hivyo ningeomba 
We are back from the office of the president, Harambe House. Uh, we will be at uh, our, you know, beginning point, Papa Madaraka. So we walked to and fro, and uh, we got there. And first, we were told the president isn't even around. We were told first of all he went to America. And then shortly again, Sijui Amenda Nakuru. Any, I don't even know. Um, me, I just pray that, and I hope at he. Si kukata tumekata za kumuona. But then we to kafika, we were told to do a letter and then drop it uh, in second floor. Uh, first of all, there is someone who told us that we do two letters. One we drop in uh, second floor at Harambe House and then the other one we go to State House. Then after talking to a few people who were advised not to go to State House, na Tundashikwa, so I don't know why that guy told us that. But anyway, you live and you learn. Um, so we did the letter to Kaenda second floor. If you second floor, you don't expect any reception. No, you're given, as in you're given just a phone to talk to like a secretary or someone who doesn't say who they are. And then Unacha Apo Barua. And then uh, we were told, you know, that's it, Barua it and the state house. Zoto Zo and Asubuina afternoon. So ours is in the bunch ya kwenda in the afternoon. So now to kwa po tutu na jaributu kuongia na the lady or you know on the other side of the phone, on the other end of the phone, uh, a guy aka walk, uh aka to pita up a kitaremka kwa stairs. I was with my sister and Washeke. And then my sister says, but I know this guy. And so he happened to be Mkubwa uh, Tuko kwa your office, public service. So to Kaenda, we sat down with him. We told him our story. Akatuambia tuandike. The letter to Kambia, we have the letter. Natumeya Chauko Akasamaya. So that is uh, the step, the first step. Uh, I got to assure that it affects the relevant authority, in this case the president, and then from there, president Atta, Atta to summon, Ama to ambie, you know, to advise. So, ni metoka uko ni kifil, si kwa satisfied kabisa, because you see, this is what we, all these offices we've been going to, and that is why we decided today to have a walk to the office of the president so that the president can have audience with us, we can have a conversation with the president, not any other person. So, you know, write a letter, letters. This is what we have been doing the past six years. Again, I'm saying that everything has been said and nothing has been done. But we are hoping that maybe this time it will be different. It will be different. Kutakuwa uh, na feedback, I hope. But uh, we'll keep uh, Joji and Masha's uh, memory alive. We'll keep telling this story until you know we have something tangible. We have information that is tangible, or we have our brother and our cousin back home with us. So as as we said, this is just the first step. The journey has begun has officially begun and uh, I thank God for the people who came out uh, it wasn't a huge number but uh, these are the people you know that count the people who showed up and I thank 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 God from the bottom of my heart for them uh, everyone alichanga wale wanaendelea kuchanga kuna mchanga waendelea kuchanga tu tujaribu as much as we can to bring out awareness, see too for my brother and cousin, for the other Kenyans, Pia Wale Wako Uko. So, uh, so thank you, Sana. Na tunendelea na iwok na hatukufi moyo. So, organize, discipline, viva. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you.